Flavor family, what is up? It is Bobby and Chris and Art here in Texas. Art and I just landed literally an hour ago. Most people go to the bars. Maybe they go to the barbecue for little ribs. Sixth Street. Yeah, Art and I go to the grocery store and Chris is a local. He said, hey, I'm gonna shield you from the Waldos. I'm gonna show you around. And first we're gonna go to HEB, show you some cool stuff here. Then we should probably go to Central Market too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So we're gonna go to two stores. First day in Texas, that's how we roll. Let's get in there, but before we do, you should probably you should probably click that red subscribe button right below the video, because every week we have four videos now, two on the weekends at the grocery store, like HEB down here in Austin, two during the week, cooking some recipes, having a good old time. So Chris, let's get in there and check out some of Austin's best stuff. Sounds good. Let's talk about the yogurt really quick here. I did not mention this in my yogurt review video and a bunch of you guys were upset, especially considering my wife Desi is from Bulgaria, but white mountain yogurt is not only Austin based, but it's Bulgarian style yogurt. What does that mean? Bulgaria is the most famous in the world for the, uh, for the uh, bacteria they use for the yogurt. It's called Lactobacillus bulgarius. The only thing I wish they did here is use organic or at least non-GMO dairy, because I firmly believe that dairy should always be 100% grass-fed or organic, otherwise they're eating the dreaded uh, Monsanto grain. That being said, this is probably one of the highest quality bacterial yogurts you can get, and that is really the only reason why you eat bacteria for those yummy probiotic bacteria for the gut. And then right here, Chris just told me, this is a uh, local brand here, Lucky Layla Farms, and it's so popular, that's why they don't have it on the shelf. It's drinkable yogurt from grass-fed cows. And even though it has some sugar added to it in the tune of 11 grams of sugar, uh, Chris swears by this, he said it's delicious, so I gotta try it here and see what the deal is. Dude, that is fantastic. You know what, it's not overly sweet. That is great, and obviously the sugar cancels out some of the bacteria benefits, but man, this is really, really good. I'm gonna save that for later. Wow, fantastic. And then down here real quick, if you're gonna eat cottage cheese, I try to always go organic. Here, there's not too many organic choices. I think we'll see some better ones over at uh, Central Market. But if you only have a few choices, I would get either Good Cultures or Kelowna Supernatural. Very high quality dairy, very high quality ingredients. You start looking at the budget uh, cottage cheeses, a lot of times they have filler, xanthan gum, guar gum, and sometimes carrageenan. What I love about uh, especially Good Cultures, very clean ingredients and they use Celtic sea salt, a very high quality salt that is not processed, not refined, it's unrefined sea salt. These are the kind you wanna get, but ideally you want organic or grass fed when it comes to dairy, but still. Here at HEB it looks like that's the best you can do, but man, that peach flavor's lingering my tongue. Yeah, wait, I love that. Let's talk about the eggs here. We all know I love Vital Farms eggs and of course they are based here in Austin pasture raised eggs are the way to go. They're outside all day eating bugs and worms, not kept in a hen house with 30,000 chickens plus, eating bad diet, never getting sun. Pasture raised eggs have a higher nutritional profile, but this is exciting, right? They have the local central market pasture raised eggs. And I always say to you, yes, uh, the Vital Farms you can find nationwide, but try to buy locally sourced pasture-raised eggs because they have less travel distance from you to the store. So this is great because it's pasture-raised with a certified humane. As long as it's pasture-raised and has that certified humane stamp right there, that is super important. That means that chickens are treated uh, very, very well. Now, even more important <laughs> is they have organic central market Pasture-raised eggs, great because they're not having that supplemental feed of GMO grain, but you guys, look at this. I've never seen this. They have soy-free organic pasture-raised eggs. Why is that important? Many farmers believe chickens are not supposed to eat soy. It's just not good for them. They go the extra step to get soy out of their diet, and it's organic, and it's $5.98. You guys, the Vital Farms by themselves are $5.24. Those are not organic. They're having a GMO supplemental feed always get the non-GMO organic central market pasture raised eggs. Wow, I, in all the grocery stores and across the land we've been, I have yet to see that except for local co-ops. Man, that is cool. Fats and cooking oils have a incredible selection here at HEB. So let's just go back to the basics here. Why do we get spray in this bottle versus this bottle. This is the traditional spray bottle. And the problem with it is that it's a propellant chemical spray. You don't want that because you're actually getting the chemicals when it comes out. So now that we know that, we only wanna get ones that say propellant free. And it looks like this kind of bottle. 
But you guys, the variety of oils they have here and the price for the HEB oil is amazing. They have the extra version. They have avocado oil. Never seen this. They have toasted sesame oil spray for $2.99. Fantastic deal. And I'm also noticing that Chosen Foods now has a organic coconut avocado oil blend. Amazing. And we always talk about expeller or pressed oils. Those are good for high heat cooking or deep fat frying. And they have the HEB expeller pressed sunflower oil. Always look for that. If you're going to do cooking with this, it has to say expeller pressed. That means it's not highly processed and highly refined. $4.50 for a big jug is not bad at all. And then I was just asking Chris and Art this. Can you guys think of an instance when you need a single serving here of ghee? I mean, Art was like, maybe go to the restaurant. The shrimp isn't buttered enough. You break out your grass-fed ghee packet and put it on. It's probably going to piss off the chef. But why are they selling single serve? I find that very strange. Um, and then look at this. Non-propellant grass-fed ghee spray. Once again, maybe for popcorn when it comes out of the kettle. Expensive though at $8. But man, the non-propellant oil game is getting great. Make sure it's always non-propellant. Make sure it's expeller pressed if you're getting the more traditional oils like sunflower, safflower, canola. Very cool. But guys, I want to show you something way down yonder. All right, let's take a road trip here. Panko breadcrumbs. Great for frying and battering, battering because they have great texture to them. But what do you do if you're on a keto diet? What if you do on, your, on a paleo diet? Say hello to my little friend pork panko breadcrumbs. Amazing, right? Because it's gluten-free, it's paleo, and it's keto, but it still has that crunch. Now, it's expensive. It's $3.49 for this packet. What I'd much rather you do is buy a big bag of chicharrones, just the plain ones, salt, pepper, that's it, and bash it up yourself in a Ziploc bag with a rolling pin. But if you want to be a lazy button, hey, we all want to be one once in a while. This is the way to go. This is the first time I've seen it in a store here, Texas. You know, if it's going to be in one place, it's going to be in Texas. But sure enough, you know they like their chicken fried steaks. And if you're going to do a keto, you got to do it with pork panko. Pretty darn cool. Chris, you're telling me this is a good local honey, right? Absolutely. Very interesting. I'm going to take a few of this home. Desi loves honey. And actually, the whole wall of honey here at HEB is nothing but local Texas honey, which is really cool. So you don't have to worry about it so much here at HEB. But at other grocery stores, you have to look where your honey comes from because China actually cuts their honey with uh, rice syrup. And then we stopped importing honey from China. So what they did is they first shipped it to like uh, Singapore and other Asian countries, then they send it over here. So I would always make sure you know exactly where your honey from comes from. Try to buy USA local only. I'm going to pick up this wildflower honey and I found some Wahio flower honey. I'm going to put a big old uh, container of this in my uh, carry-on and check it in. So thank you for that, local Chris. Local honey will help with your allergies as well. By the way. There you go. I don't have allergies, but maybe you do. And then let's check down here, Art. I mean, listen, if they have some of this high quality stuff here at HGB, I cannot wait till we get to Central Market next. And they have a good salad dressing selection, but I say 90% of salad dressings in the grocery store are out the window. They're Absolutely. garbage because they use a lot of sugar, preservatives, and low quality oils, which is why I'm super happy to see my favorite and best in class uh, dressings ever here at HEB Primal Kitchen. And they have the same price they have over at Walmart. It's $5.44. If you scoop this stuff over at Whole Foods, it could be up to seven or $8. And they have my favorite flavor, finally. If you're gonna get the best one, in my opinion, Barbecue Ranch is next level. And why is this better than the others? Because it has avocado oil, no added sugar. Everything is clean. A lot of the ingredients are organic. This company is doing it right. And they have a brand new line of pasta sauces coming out. Alfredo's and vodka's that are dairy free. Very cool. Art, right, check out over here. We're in Texas, you know, tacos, wraps, tortillas are gonna be very popular. And we have a whole tortilla video we did last week, but there's a couple here that I wanna talk about. We didn't talk about this last week. This is La Tortilla Factory Low Carb Tortilla. Each tortilla only has three net carbs, and this one actually is Bobby approved. We look at the ingredients. They use expeller pressed canola oil, a touch of soy flour, but it's non-GMO, and everything else is really good, whereas the other wraps and low carb tortillas, we talked about that in the video. Make sure to watch that when this one is over. They have cruddy oils, fillers, nasty preservatives. These guys are doing it right. It's 348. That's not bad for 10 tortillas. Really good. Now I want you to stay away from the HEB low carb carb sense because what I just say about cruddy ingredients, this is taking the cake here, you guys. We got caramel coloring, sucralose, which is another word for Splenda, which is a man-made sugar that tricks your brain into craving more sugar. We have hydrogenated oils, vegetable shortening, 
No, muy, muy malo. Estas tortillas de la Tortilla Factory son buenísimo. Andale. So I no longer buy this brand of sriracha sauce with the uh, rooster on here. Because if you read the ingredients, it has a couple pretty nasty preservatives in here. It has potassium sorbate, potassium bisulfate. You don't need that in a sriracha sauce and too many sorbates in your body can lead to many issues. And if you eat a lot of processed foods, it's sorbate city. So they don't have it here, but there's a brand called Sky Valley and they have it at Whole Foods, but the cheapest price is over at Walmart. It's $5. It's called small batch uh, sriracha and it's super clean. And even though it's technically not paleo, and some people on keto like to stay away from uh, soybeans, I always use tamar tamari soy sauce. So if you buy my cookbook, uh, Keto Meal Prep by Flav City, which uh, now has almost 600 five-star reviews on Amazon because of you, I'll put the link down below. I don't use coconut aminos because they don't have that salty umami flavor that I love. The cool thing about tamari soy sauce is that it's gluten-free soy sauce. They take the wheat out, but it still has that fermented, that umami soy flavor, and I love it. And we're talking maybe like, what, a couple of teaspoons here and there. Go for this. It has the flavor and the oomph without the wheat. And just right next to it, you guys are requesting a tea video. And once you start going over to packaged teas, it's very, very tricky because 90% of the flavored teas use natural flavoring. So be very, very careful. Chris actually showed me there's a local hibiscus uh, tea here that is pure, natural, and hibiscus has some really good benefits. But if you want a green tea that is phenomenal, this is Itoen. It's from uh, Japan. When I went to Japan with Jesse 10 years ago, we chugged this all day, every day because jet lag was a pain in the butt. This has a great nutty, uh, almost like roasted flavor. That's fantastic. So I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. And I believe, look at this, something that Chris pointed out to me, barrel aged maple vinegar from maple sap. Really, really cool. Does it have the mother in here? Yeah, let's see the mothers on the bottom. It is pricey at $10, but wow. Very, very cool stuff. And I believe there was something around the corner art. Let's check it out. Wow, hey, whoever warned me, I think Rick from YouTube warned me that the Waldos were pretty, got a pretty hard at H-E-B. This, this ain't too bad yet. We're getting maybe beginner's luck here. I always tell y'all, I'm already talking like a Texan. I always tell y'all not to buy the bone broth, right? Because bone broth is a little pricey, right? You always want to make it yourself. But this is the H-E-B brand here, and it's one of the cheaper prices. We're talking $5 for 24 fluid ounces. When you start buying the other brands, the Epics, the Bare Bones, it's way more than this. Um, and the ingredients are super clean. So I still urge you to make it yourself. If you go to the Flav City Instagram, there's a safe story showing you exactly how to make bone broth in the Instant Pot is the best. Otherwise, it makes your house smell like a barn. And I believe in bone broth because it not only makes the best soups and stocks and sauces and stuff like that, but it has that collagen rich broth in there, which is really good for your skin and your gut. But man, HEB brand is great. What's it gonna be like at Central Market? I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is good, woo, it's gonna be Willy Wonka's factory. They have grass-fed beef here, and they actually have organic grass-fed beef and non-organic grass-fed beef. Which one do you get? You might think organic, because it's better. Think again. Look on the label, my friends. Does it say 100% grass-fed or grass-fed and grass-finished? No, and I just confirmed it with the butcher. This is finished on grain. Why is that a big deal? Because when you finish grass-fed beef on grain, you reverse a lot of the health benefits. So. Go with this one, the HEB 100% grass fed. Make sure it says 100% grass fed or grass fed and grass finished. That's where you want. When it's 100% grass fed, it's better for the environment. It's better for the cow. It's better for you because there's higher nutrition and it's better for the environment. $6 a pound, same as this, but this is 100% baby. I often get asked what the best coconut water is, and I always say harmless harvest because it's very minimally processed and pasteurized, and when you do that, you retain a lot of the nutrients and enzymes. But the best thing to do is buy a young coconut like this because two things. Number one, there's a lot of water in here, and once you crack it open, it has that coconut meat. So always go for this. But man, they have something I've never seen here before. This is just young coconut meat here, which is unbelievable. Uh, it's a little expensive at five dollars but this stuff is great for smoothies it has that really good uh fat in there and it has mcts mcts come from coconut so obviously if you buy this you get the water and the meat but if you want to be lazy and just get the meat i've never seen this before and everywhere i've been the young coconuts are four dollars they're always four dollars okay winter is coming up maybe not here in texas because it's literally 96 degrees outside but i'm a big believer in turmeric and immune shots we talked about this at the Costco video last week. I don't believe in emergency and those powdered stuff. They're filled with 
uh, preservatives, natural flavors, maltodextrin, and total BS. This is what you want to get. It's immune shots. This one's from Suja. Last year they had it at Costco and it was a really good deal. But here's a local one. This is Buddha juice, turmeric and ginger shots. They even have one with blue algae, which is really good for high blood pressure. It's based here in Texas. It's raw, a fantastic stuff because this is juices and drinks that could really help you or stuff like naked, in my opinion, is just pasteurized to death and it's just sugar water. So get those immune shots. You could also get them at Trader Joe's and you can get them uh, some vital proteins made to a collagen one that is fantastic, but really, really cool stuff here. You know you're in Texas when they have pre-chopped cilantro and pre-chopped half cilantro and uh, yellow onions here. Hello, pico de gallo and guacamole. This is super cool. We have a huge butter selection here at Central Market. But first, I just want to break down the difference between European style butter here and American style butter. If you have the choice between the two, I would always go European style because it has a higher butter fat percentage, which means it has less water like American one. And it doesn't sizzle as much when you uh, put it into a pan. And the flavor of this is better because fat is flavor. So some really cool options here. And this is popping up in more and more grocery stores. It's Vital Farms, the Austin-based company, is making grass-fed butter. Very good, a little pricey, but I love 100% grass-fed butter because the nutritional profile is fantastic. And look at this, I've never seen this one. This is a Central Market First. Vital Farms grass-fed ghee. Very expensive at $9.99, but super cool. And once again, the price, of, the price of Kerrygold everywhere has gone up, you guys. $3.44 for a brick. Used to see this for under three in many places. Even Walmart charges about the same price now. So very interesting options here. And then if I go right here, this is a Dallas-based company called Hail Mary. And they make very clean, indulgent desserts here. This is a dark chocolate espresso cup. These are dark chocolate brownie bites. And they're using real ingredients here. They're using real vanilla extract, organic maple syrup. Are they using vanilla natural flavors? No, they use real vanilla extract. So yes, it's indulgent, but it's 100% clean. This is getting more and more popular. Then let's swing around here, Art. They have a huge kombucha selection here. And I always say with kombucha, you wanna go low sugar as possible. Some of the GTs have about six uh, grams of sugar per eight ounce cup, which is good. But this is a local uh, brand that uh, Chris just pointed out, Holy Kombucha. And I like this because it only has seven grams of uh, sugar in here. Very clean ingredients, including dandelion root, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper. This is kind of that cleanse one. Very, very cool. And then if we come down here, this coffee selection here for cold brew coffee is next level. We've talked about this brand before, Picnic. They're based here in Austin. If you're keto and you want a flavored, sweet, a cold coffee, this is what you get because number one, they're using grass-fed whey, grass-fed butter. They're completely unsweetened. They're using cacao powder. They're using MCTs. They're using ginger. This one's uh, cardamom with matcha. This brand is about to blow up. They make a keto coffee creamer too that is fantastic. And for cold brew, we talked about this in the coffee review. This company here, Rebel, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess they're based in Texas. They are, nope, California. They have the most clean flavored coffee and regular drinks. Vanilla spice protein here is flavored with vanilla extract, ashwagandha, maca, Himalayan pink salt, and has 16 grams of sugar. This one is cold brew coffee with 12 grams of plant-based uh, protein the cleanest ingredients, sweetened with stevia. They have no natural flavors, no filler. This is an amazing brand, expensive, yes. And then we just spied this out of the corner of our eyes. I've never seen this before. It's butter coffee bombs. It is virgin coconut oil, collagen peptides, and grass-fed butter. This one also has cinnamon and pure maple uh, sugar and cacao. You drop this in uh, hot coffee and you blend it up. Sure, it's expensive at $9.99, but it's basically a bulletproof bomb done for you. Never seen that before. Yes, make it yourself. It's cheaper, but that is super cool. And we talked about that Bulgarian uh, mountain yogurt. Check this out. My prayers have been answered because here at Central Market, they have the organic version of the White Mountain Bulgarian yogurt. Organic is the way to go because the dairy cows don't eat GMO grain. Super happy to see that. I think that does it for here. 
small little dairy section here, but tons of cool stuff. We just walked by the hummus aisle and I had to stop because they have my best in class hummus. You know my beef with the current state of the hummus industry. They're using bad quality oils, but not this brand. This brand is called Hope Hummus, which is very fitting because there is some hope that some brands actually use good oil. These guys are using what I talk about all the time, extra virgin olive oil and really clean ingredients. Not like the other brands, the Sabras, the Cedars, they're using soybean oil or canola oil. And I'm kind of disappointed that the Central Market brand here, they're using uh, sunflower oil. It's not expeller pressed. But here's a new one I've never seen. It's called Lily's and Lily's Classic Hummus. They're using olive oil, not extra virgin, but olive oil. But still best in class, a little pricey is on sale for $3.50 a piece is Hope Hummus. Fantastic. But I just wish these people like the Sabras and the Cedars would use good quality oil that at least was expeller pressed. Now let's flip around here. I spy a low carb pizza crust option out of the corner of my eye. We've talked about this before. Cauliflower is your go-to brand for low carb, but they not only have the original Italian, they have the spicy jalapeno. And what I love about this, it's just a few ingredients. It's fresh cauliflower, mozzarella, egg whites, jalapeno, garlic, and chili flakes. And this is even less. These guys only have, we're talking about one net carb per serving. So six total net carbs in the whole pizza crust. Fantastic. It's expensive here, $12.99. I believe it's cheaper at uh, Walmart, but you want to buy that one because the one right above it, the... <laughs> Come on, guys. The one right about it, this Kali Power, it's not low carb. It has starches and fillers in here. It is a good pizza, but it's not low carb because of the starch and the filler. And then I saw something really exciting in the bread section over here. And then we obviously know about Ezekiel sprouted bread, one of my best in class breads because sprouted grains are really good for you and easy for your tummy to digest. Well, Central Market has their own brand of sprouted bread, 100% organic, and the ingredients are just as good as the Ezekiel, and it's a dollar cheaper. So that's fantastic here. What is this? I've never seen this product before. It's ancient grain millet tots here. So instead of potato, they're using millet, onion flakes, organic sea salt, organic sunflower oil instead of expeller pressed. Almost really, really cool. But I've never seen stuff like this. This is the beautiful thing about coming to a central market. Even Whole Foods doesn't have this. This is really, really eclectic stuff. That's on the cusp of being great, but the oil is not the best one. All right, Chris just said we can't leave this aisle without showing healthy donuts. And I was like, I've never heard of healthy donut before, but I think Chris might have got it. Look at these ingredients here, you guys. We're talking <laughs> sunflower seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, coconut palm sugar, maple syrup. It kind of looks like a healthy donut, Art said, but hey, this could be the one on a Saturday morning with some coffee. Chris, you might have spied the interesting one. I've never seen that anywhere else besides here. That's cool. All right, you guys, that is it. H-E-B, Central Market done. Big thanks to Chris. Guys, he was on serious Waldo deflection. He was getting them away from us, and we were almost got to get kicked out, but he saved us. So that is it, right? Day one in Austin is done. We got H-E-B. We got Central Market. More importantly, Art, right, look behind us. We got the Texas sunset here in Austin. Fantastic. Now Chris is going to take us to some local restaurants for some really good food. Uh, two more videos are going below us right now. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace, y'all. Peace. Oh, oh, that's even oh better. yeah. Wow, look at that.